I wonder if you knew that it's actually impossible to measure something perfectly. Okay, so take this pencil for example. Um, I could get a ruler and I could try and measure this pencil. So here's my ruler and I want to measure this pencil. So if I look at it and try and try and match up, how long is it? So let's look at my um, ruler and just match the end of that to where it is on the ruler. And if I've got to measure this here, this pencil here, to the nearest centimeter, which of these numbers would you pick? Would you pick the number seven, the number eight, the number nine, the number 10, number 11? Well, it's somewhere between 10 and 11, isn't it? And so I've got to just decide which one it's closest to. So here, I'd, I'd measure that pencil and I would say this pencil is 10 centimeters. But in reality, you can see that actually it's, it's not quite 10, is it? It's slightly more. Right, hold that thought, because here's another pencil. Let's have a look at the this this pencil. Try and measure this one. Okay. So if I look at where it gets up to on my ruler, it gets to about here. And again, if I was measuring this, if I had to pick a number, which one would you pick? Which one's it closest to? Well, again, this one is still ten centimeters. And so. When we do measurements, they're not perfect, okay? It, you know, if I said this pencil is 10 centimeters long, there's gonna be some kind of range of values that it could actually have been in reality, okay? So this is called, um, these are called upper and lower bounds, okay? It tells us the range of values that it could be. So an upper bound is usually half a unit greater than the rounded measurement, and a lower bound is uh, usually half a unit less than a rounded measurement. Okay, so if we look at this uh, pencil, for example, the smallest it could have been uh, would probably be about 9.5, anything bigger than 9.5, and it would definitely round up to 10. Okay, so our lower bound, um, I'll write it here, for our pencil, was 9.5 centimeters and our upper bound for our pencil the biggest that it possibly could have been would be about in the middle there wouldn't it so that would be 10.5 now I know I hear this again and again all the time people say but 10.5 would round up to 11 okay sure yeah it would but this is just a bound, okay? We're just saying that our, our true number is somewhere between these two numbers, okay? So don't worry about what rounds to what. You know, that anything smaller than that is gonna round down, isn't it? So these are bounds, okay? They're telling me that my, my true value is somewhere in between these two numbers, okay? Now you could apply that to um, areas as well. Okay, so here I've got an area. Now imagine that someone came along and they measured these sides of this square and they measured it to be eight centimeters. Now in reality, it might not be perfectly eight centimeters. It might be slightly more and it might be slightly less. So if someone came along and said, well, what's the area? Um, there's gonna be a range of values that it could be, okay? So let's think about the smallest that the area could be in reality. So they might, when they measured this this eight centimeters here, what's the smallest that that could possibly be? Well, that would be um, seven and a half centimeters, wouldn't it? 7.5 centimeters. And the same goes for this one here. When they measured this, the smallest it might actually be in reality would be 7.5 centimeters. So, so if I multiply them two together, that's gonna give me um, the lower bound for the area, the smallest it could be. Okay, um, likewise for the upper bound, I could have uh, had a bit more than eight, couldn't I? I could have had up to about eight, eight and a half. Okay, so it might actually have been up to about eight and a half. So for the upper bound, if I did 8.8 .8 times 8.8, .8, that's going to give me a number there for the upper bound. Okay, so let me just run and get my calculator so I can work these out. Okay, so I've got my calculator and I'm going to type those in and I'm going to give you the area as, an, as in an interval. Okay, so we've got 7.5 times 7.5.
So the biggest that the area could have been the upper, for, for the upper bound, sorry, the smallest rather, the smallest it could have been for the for the lower bound was um, 56.25 centimeters squared. And for the upper bound, the biggest it could have been was 8.8 .8 squared, which was 72.25 centimeters squared. Okay, so if I wanted to show this with my uh, inequality notation, okay, I'm going to fill in the gaps here. So I can write um, the smallest it could have been was 56 point. Two, uh, five, and the biggest that it could have been was 72.25 okay both of those in centimeters squared so we've been looking at bounds and accuracy but I want to talk about percentage error as well and this kind of follows on from the stuff we're looking at from bounds okay so percentage error uh, is another way that you can um, be told the range of possible values that a quantity could be and the smaller percentage error is, the better the accuracy of the measurement is. Okay, so what do I mean by this? Well, uh, let's say that I measured the weight uh, of something, I should say the mass. If I measured the mass of something to be uh, 50 kilograms, but I told you that there was a 10% error, what, what, you know, what could that actual mass have been? Okay, so it's gonna be anything 10% larger would be my upper bound, and anything 10% smaller, would be my lower bound. So if we look at this number line here, 10% um, of 50 is 5. So 5 above will take me up to 55, and 5 below will take me to 45 kilograms. So if I wanted to write down the range of values that I could have had, then it will be, so let's say for the mass here, the range of values that it could be with some um, inequality notation, the biggest it could have been would be 55 kilograms, and the smallest it could have been would be 45 kilograms. Okay, so that's there. You percentage error. Let's, let's have a look at a question. So it says here, write an inequality for the length of wood cut up into 150 centimeter lengths, given a percentage error of 5%. So, um, I've got this measurement of 150 centimeters, and I want everything. Let's let's draw a little number line, okay? Everything that is um, five centimeter, um, sorry, five percent bigger, and everything that's five percent smaller. So I need to figure out what is that five percent. So on my calculator, I can do 150 multiplied by 0 0.05. That tells me that five percent. Is actually seven and a half. Okay, so I want seven and a half uh, above, and I'm going to want to have seven and a half below for my upper and my lower bounds. Okay, so this will be my upper bound. This one will be my lower bound. Okay, so what's that? One hundred and fifty-seven point five, and my lower bound will be one hundred and forty-two point five. Okay, so that's my, that be my lower one and my upper one. So if I wrote that in my inequality notation for my length of the wood, so the length of the wood could be somewhere between these values. Okay, so it could be, the smallest it could be would be 142.5 centimeters, and the biggest it could have been would have been 157.5 centimeters. Okay, so that's a little look at percentage error uh, in that context of uh, upper and lower bounds and accuracy. Joash Maths. <laughs>